Hey, a few days ago I was walking through the corridor. I saw a student running towards me. As he approached, I could guess he is both anxious and worried. He told me he get nervous when the questions are asked. How I will be able to cope up with Baiwa? I know I am supposed to speak. I have a lot of thoughts in my mind. But when it comes to speaking, I falter. My legs become shaky. So what should I do? I know I mean, the child was really good. He writes good answers. I have checked his copies at my own. I could understand his problem. I sat down with him and tried to address his problem. So whatever I spoke, I thought I should be sharing this with you with the hope it also helps you. I am Rajma Parishari, physicist and a teacher. I love doing discussions on physics related topics and issues. You know that Baiba happens to be an important component of physics practices. Both external and internal, they can gauge your preparation level. If you falter, at the time of Baiba, it may adversely affect your practical marks. Your confidence level may come down. So you need to prepare Baiba very, very well. The first and the foremost things happens to be that you should rigorously practice practicals. There is no escape to it. I am never for the shortcut. You already know that I will go very rigorous with time will not provide any any shortcut at any moment of time. Practice is the only solution for every single problem. Secondly, you should be knowing minute details of every single component used in the apparatus. Now let us assume you're sitting in front of the external. What could be the first possible question for you? I'm telling you the most likely the first question happens to be tell me which experiment you did today. You can confidently tell the aim or the objective. Once it is done, the external must be asking you the principle of the experiment. I am telling you, this happens to be the most common question of every single Baiba. So you need to practice this question time and again. You should write it, you should speak it, you should memorize it, you should do whatever it takes. So you, so you need to practice the principle along with the associated ray diagram, circuit diagram, graph if any, and you should always be very clear with the analysis of the graph. If you are asked to draw the circuit diagram, you should do it carefully and you should also show the direction of current plus minus sign on the battery and the various parts, various components used. And if you are drawing the ray diagram, then you should show arrow sign on the incident rays as well as on the refracted or the reflected maybe, rays, hmm. whatever maybe. may be the case. Hmm. The next question could be related to the various components used in the apparatus. It could be the principle of galvanometer. It could be how galvanometer can be used to convert it into a meter, how galvanometer can be converted to a voltmeter how the range of a meter can be increased, how the range of voltmeter can be increased or decreased. So what is the possible role of rheostat? How rheostat can be used as, as a potential divider? External may ask, circuit diagram used in the potentiometer experiment happens to be correctly made, but deflection in the galvanometer happens to be on one side irrespective of the position of the jockey. Suggest the possible reason and how will you correct that? External may ask, object is capped at the focus of a concave lens. Will image be formed at infinity? External may ask, can free electron exist within the depletion layer in a PN diode? What happens to thickness of depletion layer? 
when doping concentration is increased or decreased external may ask can a virtual object have the real image and many such questions once the external is done with uh, with his questions he will ask a few questions related to activities as well the suggestion will be read these activities carefully and you should be able to do well i have suggested the normal template followed by the externals but but it could be different with different individuals i hope this helps you thank you